Hi, in this video, we are going to explain some scikit-learn pre-processing techniques. First, we will start with simple imputer. We will import NumPy as MP and Pandas as PD. We will create a small data frame with some missing data as np.none. Here we can see our data frame with the none values. Simple imputer replaces missing values with descriptive statistics like the mean, the median, the most frequent value, or a constant value that we can define. First, we will import simple imputer from scikit-learn.impute. Then we will define our imputer. Missing values equal mp.none. And then the strategy, we will choose the median and we will apply fit transform on our data frame. We got the result as an array. We can change the strategy to mean or we can change it to the most frequent to replace the missing values by the most frequent values. Another strategy is to put a constant value. Here we can add another parameter which will be fill value equal to a number. Here I will choose one just to explain. Here you see the missing values are replaced by one. Another method is Kynan Imputer. We will import Kynan Imputer from scikit-learn.impute and we will choose the following parameters. Missing values as np.none and we will set the number of neighbors to two. Here the missing values will be the mean of the two nearest neighbors of the value. We will apply fit transform on our data set and here is the result we get. 7 is the mean value of 4 plus 10 as an example. Now we will use another method called iterative imputer. First we will need to import enable iterative imputer and then we will import iterative imputer from scikit-learn.impute we will call our iterative imputer function we will choose a random state of zero to explain this imputer we will go to the scikit-learn documentation so the iterative imputer is using an estimator to predict the missing values. So for each missing value, we will train a model on the other values and input the first missing value and then the second one and etc. So in the parameters of this function, we will use the estimator, which is by default the Bayesian rich. Also, we have another parameter called the initial strategy, which is by default the mean. So we use this parameter to initialize the other missing values to use them on the training phase of the imputer model. Also, the imputation order, which is by default ascending, to set the order in which the features will be imputed. So the possible values are ascending, which is the futures with the fewest missing values to the most. Descending, we will choose the features with most missing values to fewest. Raman, left to right, Arabic, right to left, and random, when we can choose a random order for each round. 
So here we run our iterative infuser and we can see the results. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. You can ask if you have a question in the comment section below.